Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Wednesday, May 17th. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, everybody, happy Wednesday. We are at the middle of the week. We have one birthday today, and that is Zuri Bowling in third grade. So happy birthday to you, Zuri. We are so glad that you are part of our Johnson family. I hope you have a great day celebrating your birthday today with your friends. All right, some more responsible leopard leaders to shout to share about from Miss Hartwell's class. Isaiah Waitman has been working so hard to be a responsible leopard leader. He keeps track of his learning chart and asks for help when he needs it. Isaiah puts forth a lot of effort to learn to write his name, and he is so proud of his accomplishments in kindergarten. Way to go, Isaiah! For Miss Bobbitt's class, Gigi Marchini has been working hard to be a responsible leopard leader. She has been completing assignments, using new strategies, and taking care of classroom materials. Way to go, Gigi. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for Miss Crawley's class, Rachel Starr is incredibly responsible, both for herself and for others. She makes sure to get her work done, keep her area organized, and she encourages others to do the same. Way to go, Rachel, and great job to all of those responsible leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson Learning Leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news, you can use our um, Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month hero of the day is Maya Lin. She is an American designer and sculptor. Uh, she graduated from Yale in 1981, and she received national recognition when she won a design competition for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. Lynn has designed numerous memorials, public and private buildings, landscapes, and sculptures. Although she is best known for these historical memorials, she is also known for environmentally themed work. Um, and according to Lynn, she draws inspiration from the architecture of nature, but believes that nothing she creates can match its beauty. Um, so this is Maya Lynn. All right, in other news, it's National Cherry Cobbler Day. It's National Walnut Day, and it's National Pack Rat Day. So I looked up the history of that. Um, so according to the dictionary, the phrase pack rat dates back to 1885, and it refers to a wood rat that was known for hoarding food and random objects. And when you hoard something, it means you collect a lot of it and you just keep it. Um, and so today, the term pack rat is loosely used to describe people who do that same kind of thing. So maybe you've got a lot of stuff. Um, packed in your bedroom or in your desk or whatever. So that's, uh, it is National Pack Rat Day. Um, also today is the day that our fourth graders will take their math SOL test. Fourth graders, we love you. You are super smart. Sit down, do your best. You know you can do it. It's going to be awesome. Um, and for everybody else in the school, just a reminder that when you are moving throughout the hallways, you got to be super duper quiet out of respect for our fourth graders who are working hard. All right. Our joke of the day is from Andy Powell in Ms. Schaff's class. What is a bunny's favorite music? What is a bunny's favorite music? Hip hop. Get it. Ah, love it, Andy. That was awesome. Um, Y'all, that's all I've got for today. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and think about how you can roar today here at Johnson. We love you ever so much. Make it an amazing and wonderful day today.